hello everyone welcome back to another tutorial today we are going to crochet this beautiful poncho it's for a baby girl between age two to five years you can adjust the measurements according to the size you want i hope you love this tutorial please give it thumbs up and watch it to the end let's get started i'll need a yarn you can use any yarn of your choice 4.0 mm hook a yarn needle and a pair of scissors i'll start by chaining 60. just ensure the chain can fit uh, the head of the baby perfectly here i have my 60 chains i've just put a stitch marker on my 30th chain that will be my front side of the poncho without twisting join together with a slip stitch chain two and on the same stitch make a double crochet our chain two will count as our first double crochet so after having two double crochets chain two and make two more double crochets inside the same stitch From here skip a stitch or a chain and on the next chain make three double crochets and this is how we are going to work till we get to our stitch marker skipping a chain and on the next chain make three double crochets When we get to our stitch marker, we make two double crochets chain two, two double crochets inside the same stitch. And now that's our front part of the poncho and we have our back part of the poncho where we did the two double crochets chain two to double crochets continue skipping a chain making three double crochet on the neck till the end of this round done with round one make sure both sides have equal number of stitches now join with a slip stitch on top of our chain two another slip stitch inside the chain two space chain two make a double crochet inside our chain two space two more chains then two double crochets inside our chain two space and that will be the repeat when we come to this chain two space now continue with double crochets on each and every stitch all round
when we get to the chain two space make two double crochets inside our chain two space chain two two more double crochets inside the chain two space then continue with double crochets till the end of the round when we come to the end of the second round join together with a slip stitch on top of our chain 2 make another slip stitch inside our chain 2 space We are going to repeat one more round of double crochets on each and every stitch. So chain two, make a double crochet, chain two, two more double crochets inside our chain two space. Continue with double crochets. When you get to the other chain two space, make two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. I'll see you. I'm done with my two rows of double crochets. Our next round will be a treble crochet row. So chain three, that will count as our first treble crochet. Yarn over twice and make a treble crochet inside our chain two space. There we go. Chain two, two more treble crochets inside our chain two space. That's how it looks like. We are going to do a small pattern here. So after yarning over twice, skip the first stitch and make a treble crochet on the next stitch. Then another treble crochet on the stitch we left or we skipped make a treble crochet from behind so that's how we are going to work this round keep a stitch make a treble crochet on the neck then from behind make a treble crochet on the stitch we skipped We are going to crisscross the treble crochets on this row. When we get to our chain two space, make two treble crochets inside the chain two space, chain two, two more treble crochets. Then you continue with the same pattern till the end of the round
we have come to the end of the round so join together with a slip stitch on top of our chain three another slip stitch inside our chain two space next we are going to repeat two rows of double crochets on each and every stitch then I will see you when we are done with our two rows for the next pattern And here we are done with our two rows of double crochets. Chain two, make a double crochet, make two chains, more double crochets inside our chain two space. make two double crochets and now on the third stitch we are going to make four double crochets together or make four double crochets inside the same stitch one Two, three, four. Now on top of the first double crochet, insert your hook and pull through the yarn on the fourth double crochet. Make a single crochet. There we make a bubble or a popcorn. Then on the next stitch, make a double crochet. I'm going to make a total of five double crochets before I make the next bubble. So on the sixth stitch, repeat the pattern, four double crochets inside the same stitch. On top of the first double crochet, insert your hook, pull through the yarn on the fourth stitch, make a single crochet to secure it, then continue with the same pattern. When we get to our chain two space, repeat the same pattern of two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets inside the same chain two space. Then you will continue with the same pattern of making double crochets and a bubble till the end of the row From this point, basically we are going to repeat the pattern we have done here. So below the bubble, make two rounds of double crochets, then a round of crisscrossing the treble crochets, two rounds of double crochets, then a round of bubble. And that will be the repeat pattern till you have your desired length. 
continue with the pattern i will see you when i'm done with my part I'm done with this part of the poncho. This size is okay for a two to five year old girl. From here, I'm going to attach some string at the bottom part of the poncho. And this is how I will attach them. It is so easy to attach. You can decide how many you want to attach. For this case, I'm just doing three. I will skip five double crochets in between. Then attach my next there. Just continue attaching till you are done and I will see you. Now I'm going to show you how to do the neck part. You will attach your yarn. I'm going to start on the back side of the poncho. Chain two. And our first row will be a row of double crochets. Make double crochets on each and every stitch. That's our first round for round two, chain two. From here, we are going to work with front post and back post double crochets. So on that first double crochet, make a front post double crochet. Next, back post double crochet. And continue with the same back post double crochet front post double crochet throughout i'm going to make a total of 10 rounds of back post and front post double crochets continue i'll see you when i'm done this is the outcome i love 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 it it's so beautiful it's so neat the fringe part is also very beautiful i hope you guys have enjoyed watching this tutorial thank you so much to my subscribers if you have not subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button and support this channel i'll be so grateful 
like share this video with your friends i'll see you in our next tutorial bye bye